Good evening from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. Soviet Foreign Minister Gromyko and Secretary of State Schultz met for nearly three hours today in New York, setting the stage for Gromyko's first meeting with President Reagan this Friday. On the campaign trail in Ohio, Mr. Reagan said he hoped the meeting would clear the air of suspicions. Walter Mondale, who meets Gromyko tomorrow, focused on the economy today, telling steelworkers in Cleveland the Reagan message to their industry is, let it rust. Vice President George Bush has decided to release income tax information for the last three years. Bush said he wants to end the questioning about his finances. Now this. Listen to me. His job I'm depended on getting a package somewhere overnight. Need help. Now he's got another job. Fred's waiting. Next time, send a Federal Fred. Express. Tropical storm Isidore has dumped 10 inches of rain on the Bahamas and could do the same to South Florida. Residents there are bracing for a possible gale lashing. I'm Mark McCarthy, CBS News, Washington. More news later on this CBS station and on CBS News Nightwatch. This is CBS. You know, I lease so reliable here from AT&T. It's gone through the Griffith Family School of Hard Knocks and come through with flying colors. Of course, if I ever did have a problem, I'd just call AT&T toll-free or take it to one of their phone centers for exchange. Leasing's smart for me. It's smart because no matter what happens, I can always relax. AT&T Consumer Sales and Service. 